Exactly. So what's going on here is like all those combos decks we just mentioned are gone. And I want to speak to their reasoning here. I'm not saying I'm for this change because I think there was an alternate change they could have went to that would have accomplished what their goal was. But their goal was this. If I'm sitting across the table in a game that was designed not to have out of player interactions, and I love that about this game. I never want them to add them or else you're going to start going down the rabbit hole with magic and it gets a little weird. We want to be a different game. So we have our own mechanisms. Our mechanisms, we play our turn to our best. We pass turn. They play their turn to their best, etc. So I've witnessed in person multiple times someone take the 15, the 15 minutes they reference here is not an exaggeration. I have witnessed this in real life. I've seen somebody take that long on a library access loop turn that wasn't OTK, forge a ton of amber, and take all the opponent's amber, kill all their opponent's creatures, and then pass turn. Their opponent does a few things. They come back to them. They forge a key, and then they do the same thing for another 10 minutes. Yeah. This is an abysmal thing to watch, and I felt very badly for watching the scenario because the person's opponent didn't concede. Yes, that is the argument. You could always concede, but like, that is not good for the game. Well, it and just let's isn't. let's be honest. I I faced this at our vault tour, uh, you know, game or I should say game two, of uh of day two. Yeah, it was a LART deck. Yeah, I knew I had to speed ahead of it. It didn't happen. My only hope at that point is that he screws up the combo. Now it's not a hard combo to achieve, but my only prayer at that point is he screws up the combo. So I have to let him play it out and hope he makes a mistake. Yeah. And then that, that's, and, and there's a lot of like talk about at that point, it's not player skill. It's really whether there's, it's a, uh, whether they're screwing it up, not so much about how adept they are at the game. So do they have the minimum amount of skill to not mess up? And, I, and I'll tell you what, LART players. Yes. I will say LARTs took skill. Yeah, that, Lart that's has a, a lot. Like, a there's some people thing. that argue that you just need to know it better, and then, but I'm arguing that that is a skill. Knowing how to do the order of Lart is a skill in of itself. Whereas Seed is you just boom, boom. Yeah, I'm seed's playing these just, two cards. Seed, I'm pretty sure a blind monkey could could pilot. Yeah, it's know, just, land, a lands yeah. deck. Just don't get unlucky, and the seed will hit. In decks that are designed to do that, yeah. If there's too many creatures or whatever, seed does get less effective. But for the most part, people that bring a good lands deck. All they need to do is draw the two cards in conjunction with each other and yeah. execute them. Um, so, th so that's where we're at. Like I'm saying, I agree, not with exactly how this happened. I am definitely agreeing with the reason that it happened. The game is supposed to be fun and competitive for years to come. This is going to hurt and feel some uh, some some animosity. It's going to be felt towards the ruling of this card being done this way but in the long term i'm 100 percent okay with this decision i personally would have made this alpha be the just keyword to add to this card that way la is not removed from the deck because the only part of this that i actually had a problem with was the fact that they're adding in something that literally is not in the game at all on any other card when they simultaneously in AOA are releasing a keyword that would have solved the problem that they said that they're, they're releasing, they're doing this change to address. And Alpha addresses it. It addresses it completely. Yeah, I, I, I was kind of wondering when I saw Purge, I was like, I think they went too far. You yeah, know, I'm Purge, like a lot of us were just, we were, we were all happy with Alpha. Purge? Yeah, like Purge is a, a little heavy handed in my honest opinion. And uh, I believe in a couple weeks we will get to ask Brad if. I think, I mean, we definitely need to submit that. Like, what was there a discussion about making this alpha and why did they choose alpha over or purge over alpha? Yeah. And I think I, I know there's questions. I'm going to have to relook at all the questions. I know there is seed questions on there. Um, mm -hmm. We may have to now reword them with the, with the rule changing uh, because at the time when we were taking questions, I didn't know. If there was gonna, I mean, I knew the erratas were coming. I knew the change, the FAQ well, was coming. And I submitted questions before I became your co-host right. about what two weeks ago. Yeah, my singular question I wanted to ask Brad is: Are they going to add Alpha to library access? I have it in a chat. If I needed to actually like verify that I asked that, 
But like that was like about two weeks ago to the day that I asked asked Wookie that question. And here we are talking about something way more extreme than that. <laughs> and you weren't <laughs> the only one. I just, yeah. I mean, Purge, I guess, kind of throws off the math if you wanted to come back around to it. Like, my, I, it's just so weird. Like, the, I mean, Creepy Oblivion can purge stuff from a discard pile, but that's an active effect. That's what you're actually doing. Like, our penalty in this game so far for cards played is Chains. Obviously, Chains doesn't stop the problem. But our new mechanism that we're getting, because, like, the idea, the whole concept of Chains, Alpha, and Omega is a drawback for a really powerful effect. And I'm so wondering all three if it, of those exist. Yeah. <laughs> And one of them fits the requirement for what we need to stop. Why not pick a mechanism that you're play tested, you designed? Obvious. I mean, like, you know, I'm sure that there have been thousands of games of AOA played by testers. Yeah. Collectively to test the Alpha Omega concept. And Alpha would have been a very legitimate answer to this. Eh, but that's it, it is what it is at this asked. point. I mean, maybe it'll get changed to back to just Alpha. I doubt it because that's obviously going to solve the problem. But yeah, I, I don't know. Like purge, I think was too much. But at the same time, it is I, whatever. It is what it is. Yeah, and I hadn't even thought of the exact math of the deck too. But like obviously, purging is changing. You know your your cycle because you're, you're going, going from down to a 11. thirty-six to a thirty-five. Yeah, you know, one house mm -hmm. has got eleven now. So I mean, you could argue, I guess, in a way that could help your, the the rest of your cycle in some way, depending on your other 24 cards in the other two houses. But I don't know. That se still seems really weird to me to just stop, you know, punch on a brand new thing that we had not seen before. Now, in the future, like, I actually like this as a future mechanic. I don't know what it would be called instead of, like, Alpha Omega or, like, you know, some, like, the cost of playing some great card is that it actually has you're purging this card when you're done with it. Like that actually makes sense. I mean, I'm sure as I think a mechanic magic has stuff like that, don't they? Yeah. Like that, that I totally agree with that as a mechanic going forward, but I think it should have, it didn't need to be applied to this card. Very confused uh, on that one either, but I mean, either way it does solve the issue. Mm -hmm. We go to the next one, which this one was kind of a shocker for me. Uh, I bait think and this switch. one shocked everyone. Like I, like the more I thought about it, the more I guess I understood it. But like, if you want to go through their explanation, like I, I probably need to hear their explanation a couple more times for this to even sink in. So bait and switch their explanation. Bait and switch has proven itself to be one of the best cards in the game and has helped shadows become the most po played house at multiple vault tours. Its ability to reverse the game state, especially after a player has just forged a key is devastatingly powerful. And when combined with other steel effects, and it can extreme make it. Oh, I'm sorry, I screwed that up. Combined with other steel effects, it can be extremely difficult for other strategies to counter. The car they forgot a space. The card's extreme power level is problematic for two reasons. First, it decreases metagame diversity by making shadows significantly stronger than other houses. This in turn causes shadows to be overrepresented at tournaments. Secondly. It decreases the diversity among Shadows decks, as it is now generally not viable to bring a Shadows deck to a tournament unless it contains Bait and Switch. I disagree with that statement uh, almost I, wholly. I'm really, like, that's what I mean. Like, I probably wanted needed to hear it again because I was reading my phone as I was being spammed by hundreds of, you know, different messages coming from different places. Um, Like, I don't have no any top player, and I know a lot of top players that have a problem with bait and switches slot in the field. And honestly, I don't even know, like, I know a lot, like my personal group, like my family and my, my close, close friends, they don't play on the level that I do, but none of them have any problem with bait and switch either. The only people that I know of that have issues with bait and switch is like, it's your first 20 games. <laughs> like you just don't realize it's there. and. Like I, I just this this was a weird one for me. I have actually probably more of an issue with something like this being nerfed than library access because library access really like for the explanation we just went through can make the game not fun to well, play. If when that's how, happening to you, here's how I view library access. Library access in itself, obviously, it takes multiple pieces, but it wins mm. a game. Yes, bait and switch delays a game 